What methods can we use on dictionaries? In this video, we are going to mention four methods. Get, keys, values, and items. Until now, we have addressed keys that were in a dictionary. However, there will be situations where we will ask for a value of a key that cannot be found in a dictionary. When that happens, the program will return an error. The error will say key error and the name of the key with which the program has problems. To avoid getting errors for keys not found in dictionaries, we can call the method get on a dictionary. You can see the syntax of the method on the slide. We state the dictionary on which we are calling the method, then period, then get, and brackets. The method takes one mandatory argument and one optional. The optional argument is activated only if the key is not found in a dictionary. So, there are two cases. In the first case, we don't define the optional argument. That is, we only define the key. If the key is not found in the dictionary, the program returns none value. In the second case, we define the key and the default value, that is the, the optional argument. If the key is not found, the program returns the default value. We don't get an error. In this example, we still have the dictionary with the wrong last name. Never mind that. We call the method get on dictionary D and want the value for the key first name. The program returns a value because the key can be found in the dictionary. However, if we ask for a value of a key not found in the dictionary, for example, key is occupation, the program doesn't return an error but the value none. We can also ask for a value of the same key occupation, but this time we define the default value as key not found in the dictionary. The program will return the defined default value. This default value is a string, and we know what functions and methods we can call on strings. Of course, the default value can be other data types. Another method we can call on dictionaries is the keys method. It returns a list where elements of the list are keys found in the dictionary, as seen on the slide. The values method returns a list where elements of the list are values found in the dictionary. Finally, the last method, called items, returns a list of tuples containing key-value pairs. Let's look at the code. 